So yesterday um, I've been really busy building a quadrophilic helix antenna so I can receive weather satellites. Now if you are building an antenna, I'll tell you this much, it's probably one of the most difficult ones you can make. And the hardest part of doing it was actually marking out this pipe. It was an absolute nightmare trying to get the angles all correct. Um, get these drilled at a 90 degree angle from each other, it was just horrendous. Um, I had to take apart an old telescope and use the angle base of that as a protractor to try and uh, mark things out at 90 degrees and still it wasn't working um, everything was just off really badly so what I ended up doing was basically using the writing as uh, my, my reference point to drawing a straight line along that using a steel rail and uh, I basically managed to find the circumference of a pipe and cut a small piece of wire just just um, a quarter of the circumference and then I marched round from the piece of wire dots and then just joined them up and that worked so it's not finished yet I still need to get RG58 coaxial I need to make the ballon inside um, <coughs> I'm not sure how to wire it in the top just yet but basically the way it works is or how it's arranged is you have a long loop and a short loop so this is a long loop and um, here so it just goes round comes out there and it goes round 180 degrees and it's just and it's just a solid connection straight through there's nothing else in there that is just one solid piece and it comes round the back and up to the opposite side and the short loop is just exactly the same <coughs> That's so it can receive the circularly polarised signals. Um, I'll put a link in the description to the exact uh, tutorial that I followed to do this. With uh, the list of measurements and everything, but uh, I've still to solder uh, these up as well. It's just all dry fitted together. Um, but bending the tubes really wasn't all that difficult. I thought it would be, but um, su surprising. The surprising thing was that it was a pipe, it was the hardest thing to mark out. I'm hoping to be able to receive the digital images from Meteor M2 as well as um, the APT images from 3 active weather satellites, I think NOAA 15, NOAA 18 and NOAA 19. Um, that should hopefully work really well, but uh, only testing will tell really. And I'll be using a SDR radio. Just one of those USB ones to receive images. I'm not totally sure if I've actually made it right um, or not. Um, I'm sure I have. As long as um, it's twisted round to the left and it's exactly the correct height, it should hopefully be tuned to the correct frequency. Um, if you get the height wrong, uh, that means that the frequency will be out. I mean, if the... If the, the helices are a little bit sort of uh, not exactly uniform, I don't think that's going to matter too much as long as you get the, the height right. The only thing I'm worried about is these um, touching inside here, but uh, I'm sure I could uh, move those around a little bit and maybe just pull them out slightly. Because I tried to make the length sticking out the same um, across um, all the glands so um, it's all even. I don't know about mounting it on the shed, if I mount it up there um, it may cast a shadow on the solar panels so I'm not sure where to put it it might just be some sort of a portable thing it's not terribly heavy um, I'm thinking about taking it up the top of Falkland Hill which is a hill that's so way across there, a big hill in Fife and uh, I would get some really good images up there and the quadrophilic helix is always said to be the best antenna for um, the purpose of receiving satellites because it has the best coverage. Turnstile antennas and other types may have uh, dead spots where you lose the signal a little bit, but this is the exact type of antenna that's on the satellite itself. Um, so it's best to use the same type of antenna to receive it.